All right, now we are going to do a little bit more mapping. We are going to map out our second demo song. So let's go ahead and pull up the whiteboard again. All right, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and went back to the prepare window. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this just so that you guys can see a little bit better when I have this split screen going. Um, and we already have this first hot cue set, right? That's set to the beginning of the eight bar intro. And I'm just gonna let this song play. I'm gonna do the same thing that we did with Stranger. I'm gonna go ahead and map it up here. I want you to follow along. I am marking the one of every phrase. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three. I want you to listen for the change. One. Three, four, two, three, four, one. I'm going to say this is the verse. One. This feels like it's coming up. Four, two, three, four, one. Two. Three. Four, two, three, four, one. This is our drop. You hear how the energy change? More intense energy. And one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one. And one. You start to feel where the change is, right? Where the phrase comes in. Listen. One. This second one is kind of part of that. You can consider. One. This whole thing could be all like the verse, but this is the same as this. One, two, three, four, two, three. This is the same as that. Probably use a different kind of a symbol here. One, drop. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one. Or like turn. One. Four, two, three, four, one. Four, two, three, four, one, two, three, right, okay? It's almost like this two beat section there. Three, two, three, four, two, three, four, one. Two, three, Four, two, three, four, one. Two, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one. Okay, so actually this last one I could also do 
this not necessarily as a drop. I can say this is an eight bar drop and then this is like a four bar outro. Okay, so we've got all of that mapped out. So now if we were to go back to this, we'll do the same thing that we were talking about before and turn this into bars, right? So this is eight bars, eight bars, eight, 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 four, eight, 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 two, 12, and then this is half a bar, two beats. And then we have an eight, an eight, an eight, and a four. Like that's what this whole song is. So it's a little bit more complex, but we've got it figured out now. And the points that we're gonna get out, the parts that we need to know would be this, this, um, this, and this. Right? And we could maybe use the, the bridge, maybe the bridge we'll use, right? But these are our main points out, and then our main point in here is our intro. So if I were to set hot cues, I would set hot cues here, 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 oh wait, not there. Here, 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 and here. That's where I would set my hot cues up. So now, let's look at that on the, um, on the software. And let's go ahead and jump in here. So I can see, like, when I start to look at the waveform, I can sort of see, do you see where this red section is? This is, uh, this is where the low end is. So this looks like it's like a build and then the low end. I could be wrong, let's see. Oh, this is the build. Here it is. So if I come here, it's right there, right? This section right here is where I wanna be, so I'm gonna set a hot cue there. That's eight bars. And let me jump back down here and I'll start to look at this again, look at the waveform. There we go, so right there on 61, I've got another one. So I'm gonna set, oops, I'm gonna set a hot cue there. Okay, and let's set another one for here. Five, six, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Right, so I could set another, I could set another point there at the last four if I want. Okay, so we've got that whole thing figured out, and now what I like to do is I like to take that and write this into the comment field. So you can see I already had that in here: eight bar intro, eight bar drop. It's an instrumental scratch loop. Um, oh, I must have written that in as like using the instrumental as a scratch loop. So if I wanted to get rid of this, um, I just need to delete it, and I could also write that the twelve. There's a twelve bar last drop slash outro. All right, so I, all of my notes can go on to this and then I can see it in the comment field before I even load the song on the deck. So um, the other thing that I wanna to talk to you about really quick is this grid and how we can either reset the grid if it needs to be set. Um, let me show you. So let's say that by accident the Let's say that the software got this wrong and it started the grid here, right? like that this was the start of the grid instead of this. You would see that now this red line, which is supposed to be the one of the phrase, is now wrong. The one of the phrase is not lined up to where the one one should be. So what I could do is while I'm in this prepare mode, I can just reset that and now it's, it's all good. Now. This track was fine in terms of the beat grid, but sometimes what you'll find is if you're having a hard time mixing a song, it might be because the beat grid is wrong. So take a look at the beat grid. If you need to adjust the grid, there are two ways to adjust it. Um, this is going to shift the grid. This is going to expand and contract the grid. So these, these buttons right here will expand and contract, which you'll see what happens. Let me go ahead and do that. So if I this is contracting it, look what's happening to the BPM. It's saying that this is 120, and this song isn't 120. We know it's not 120, but this, if the grid is wrong, um, Juice is using the grid 
to be able to set loops uh, with the sync. Uh, that's what this is using. So if you find that you're syncing two songs together and they're just still not sounding right, it might be because the grid is wrong. So you want to make sure to, to check the grid and make sure to have it right. So if I were to put this back at 103, now everything is fine. Right? And then if I wanted to move the grid, I could move it using this. Um, that actually moved too fast. So let's see. Let's make that a little bit more of a minor move. There it is. So I'm like, if I needed to shift the grid just a bit, um, keep in mind that this is not going to change the BPM. This is just shifting the grid um, of where the lines actually move. So maybe the BPM is correct, but for some reason, um, like I said, the, maybe the one wasn't set exactly right. Maybe the one was set here and you need to shift it back there. You would use these functions here. And if you mess up, you can always undo. This is our undo button right here. We can always undo. Great. I hope that that was helpful for you. Uh, we are going to move on to pre -cue.